Okay, so the curves here are already done, so I'll take you through these ones a bit further on in the edit when it makes sense and I'll explain what they're doing and how to work with them. That's why there is extra contrast at the moment. Uh, the style, you need the curves, so we'll go over that a little later on just to brighten things up. And now it's even more obvious what the curves are doing. It really adds richness. His style in particular has a good amount of matte, so you'll see why that is so important later on and then we'll bring down the temperature because of all the tungsten a little to the green and we're already a long way the blacks because we have so much contrast from the blacks and the curves white so I I honestly just look at like his hat and stuff like that might have to come back and fix some things shadows so I'm just thinking detail how much detail do we see and then highlights very often down because this is what a lot of those people that get the matte look use is bringing down of the highlights really flattens the image touch less contrast as you can see and then we pretty much have all our texture and contrast done So this video is sponsored by Pixlr. So Pixlr is a suite for all of your photo and creative editing needs, all directly in your web browser and for free on your desktop or on your phone. Sometimes Photoshop is just too complicated to quickly arrange your images or remove things from your images. What's really helpful is that it's all in the cloud so there is no need for you to download anything unless you want to, you have the option to download it offline. Here's me creating the thumbnail for this video. So I'll go to advanced editor, open image. So here's a previous thumbnail, drag and drop the new images, add to current. And we can adjust to get that right aspect ratio. Bring the Lightroom logo to the front. Okay, so now we can combine all our layers by coming up here, go to flatten image. So what I use quite often is the healing just to remove some things and then you can export. We also have really powerful AI features in Express. We can type in things such as So another really quick way to make thumbnails or for your website when you can't quite find the exact kind of image you're looking for. And what you can also do is upload one of your images. Got all these no color, no lighting, all these uh, influence how much you want it to reference the image you uploaded and then you can do your search. So and then generate. You can see how it really grabbed the color palette. Uh, the yearly subscription is maybe the cheapest way if you want to upgrade to get the premium features. So links in the description to try Pixlr for yourself and redeem this 30% off monthly plan, the premium plan, and get full access to all the premium features across each of the editing platforms with more AI credits. So we uh, yeah, dropped clarity by 10 for a softness, slight bloom, texture. We're also gonna bloom it with dropping the dehaze. I might bring back the texture. And what we'll do, we'll jump to highlights before HSL. Uh, we want more blues. We're still very warm in the um, entire image. So we'll go seven saturation. It's only a very subtle amount. So like, I'm just looking at the brightest parts and it's it's the in this white sign here is the easiest way to tell uh, how much white, how much blue we have to add in to make it white. I'm gonna keep sharpening down so we don't get too much of a digital look. Grain a bit. So all our hues are pretty off. Let's start with some obvious ones. So saturation. Now, it takes a while to learn things like this, but saturation changes your hue sometimes. Like it looks like it does. It looks more orange by taking out some saturation of the yellows, for example. But we're gonna up the yellows. We'll actually come back up here and drop the saturation entirely 
gets a bit closer and a touch of vibrance. I think it's very it's very consistent with what he does on Instagram. Oranges, his feed definitely has strong yellows and oranges. Green, there's a little bit of green. Let's take it out. Blue, bring down the blue because he has strong oranges like throughout the whole image. I usually bring purple and magenta down roughly in line with everything. A pop to the yellows down in the oranges a bit kind of creates contrast between the yellows and the oranges in terms of brightness it can look good and then the yellows a little to the left for more of an orange uh, back up top let's just cool it down a bit more no it's about right maybe there's too much yellow like if we go to his this is ours maybe back off on the yellows a bit even more towards the oranges and even the oranges towards the reds and we go back to his back to ours and then desaturate desaturate maybe luminance of the yellows can and then just maybe it's overall it's too warm you can see it's maybe we need a touch of like red or purple so let's bring that back now let's go back and forth the reason behind some of these okay so this one the matte look this is how you do it it is a bringing down a capping off of the highlights and the curves um very often with the sliders um we get a fade here in the curves by bringing it up so like i looked at this this a lot while editing this image because it's a slow transition of very darks to shadows and you can see it has a lot of color in it as well so that helps me realize it should how much red there should be in the shadows blue is pulled out so we've got a lot of warmth through the mids to the highlights and then the greens and reds are very similar apart from the shadow shadows so you get this rich purpleness and then we get warmth throughout a lot of the image i've done 300 of these tutorials but the problem is is that i'm i'm guessing a lot of the time so within the course there is now over 100 photographers teaching where you get the raw image the preset and the lesson step by step so you can follow step by step and you actually get the correct process that they use to edit photos and then when you get the correct process things like when you apply that to a different image it works works much more more much more consistently so cam was the most recent guest editor because everyone is very into hi everyone my name is cam i'm a travel and lifestyle photographer i specialize in documentary work and street photography and for the past few years i've been trying to find a way to edit my photos in a simple way i wanted to spend less time behind my computer so i found a way to edit my photos for them to have th this uh, film look but while being very simple at the same time it was very very important for me so i hope um, i can help you with these few um, images and show you how i do it and um, i'm currently traveling in colombia so sorry for the noises all around me the dogs barking um but yeah i hope you enjoyed and thank you so much minimally edited photos nowadays all the film look the natural look timeless edits that look very minimal and at the same time they don't take as long to edit because the edits are very minimal but you just have to do the right amount of editing to get that result make sure you go subscribe to the other to the lightroom channel because we'll be breaking down three more of his images here so like this one here with a lot more blues in it as well and then we also have this one coming up subscribe over there